Hello beautiful people. So in the last few weeks we talked about either hacks that can make you look more youthful in pictures or correcting those makeup techniques that can make you look younger in your pictures but today let's add these styling tips to your look and see yourself transform in photographs and look more youthful. I am Parmita Kadkar, a lifestyle photographer bringing to you different tips, tutorials, hacks to show you how small changes can make a big difference not just to your photographs but also to your confidence and your lifestyle. Welcome to Blush With Me. When clients ask me what should I wear to look more youthful in pictures and, and have that spunk in my pictures, I always suggest two looks that really work well. Number one, if you're wearing something dressy and colorful, then try to keep your accessories simple. In my last episode where I talked about correcting your makeup techniques to look more youthful in pictures, instead of a black dress, I chose this seasonal color high tea dress. Now this is a teal blue dress which adds that youthful feel without the seriousness. But along with that, it also gives that sophistication, not just to your outfit, but also to your personality. Also notice that instead of using diamond studs, I'm wearing these pineapple earrings with a hint of the same teal blue that I have in my dress. And don't miss the Adesse nail polish in teal blue again. So if you notice, teal blue is kind of bringing the whole outfit together. Had it been, say, shoes or a handbag, or some big accessory in the same color, it would have been too much. But here the colors are very subtly seen somewhere in the outfit and somewhere in my whole look. So it kind of really brings the whole look together and well put together, hence styled well. So the idea is keep your accessories small, but yet noticeable. Look number two, if you enjoy a basic outfit, like jeans, t-shirt, sweater, colors like white, gray, brown, black then that's the time you go have fun with your accessories but remember to keep your makeup simple now this is one question that i have been asked a million times that if i want my makeup to look natural and i want to look natural in pictures then why even do it what is the need to put on any makeup to answer that i will make another video on no makeup versus natural makeup and why is makeup so important for your photos. But in short, I'll only say that makeup or natural makeup helps you hide all your flaws and highlights all your strengths and it all looks so effortless that anybody who's looking at you is like, whoa, what happened? She looks flawless, she looks stunning, but yet I can't see what's going on on her face. I can't see any makeup, I don't see bright lips or eyeliner or wing liner. So you basically look effortlessly, naturally gorgeous. Don't you wanna see that? Then just go and subscribe to my channel, Blush With Me With Parmita. You see that little red subscribe button, hit that, hit the bell next to it so you get notified every time my video is up, which is every Thursday. And until I come to that video, might as well watch all my other videos so far. Good idea, right? But in the meantime, let's continue with today's look. Now, I would like to call it as smart casuals. So leave those training shoes for gym and run and workout. Wear white sneakers instead. They look really youthful, fun, and I can't stop dancing when I Instead of the grandma cardigan or a sweater, go for a bomber jacket, a trench coat, or a utility jacket. All of these are great option to really spice up that outfit. Do not underestimate the power of nail polish. Even if you have the same old clothes, just changing your nail polish to the seasonal color can make such a big difference to your whole outfit. So cut out those reds and maroons and heavy colors. Go for something more youthful. Instead of the big bulky shoulder bags that really weigh your shoulder down, go for something like a crossbody bag or a backpack. There are so many beautiful, fun backpacks out there in the market. 
try something like that because I think that really elevates your look too and absolutely a style statement. I always say invest in good accessories. That's completely a different episode where we'll talk about what you should splurge on and what you should save on and how you should build that wardrobe for yourself. But for now, let's see what's next. Keep the whole look very light and easy going. So instead of heavy, chunky necklaces or pearls or big statement pieces, go for something that's very light like multiple layers of thin chains. They look very light. You don't even feel like you're wearing something, especially in summer when you don't want anything to irritate you around your neck. It's perfect. Like I'm wearing these pom-pom earrings by J. Crew. I've paired it with the lively tassel bracelet from Club Monaco. The t-shirt I'm wearing is from Uniqlo. And if you notice, instead of leaving the sleeves loose, I just fold it up just for a different look. Instead of fitted or straight t-shirt, go for a slouchy boyfriend t-shirt. Instead of leaving the t-shirt loose, try to tuck in on one side. It immediately stylizes the whole look to another level. If you see the huge difference a good pair of jeans makes, then you too might be tempted to throw those old jeans that you have owned since 1969, 79, 89, 99 or even 2009. Time to make a change. These Jamie jeans by Topshop are a game changer. High rise and compression holds everything in and yet stretches for maximum comfort. All you need to do is just change those shoes and you can give this outfit a completely new feel. Sometimes there are so many other things that I want to prioritize or sometimes just want to just lay back and say let's skip this week, maybe I'll just do it next week and I'm tired or whatever the reason. And then I'm like let's just go and see a few comments and when I read those comments I'm like no get up now and let's make another video. Guys that is the impact you guys have on me. I know a lot of you have been saying that I am making a big difference uh, to your confidence which it's fantastic but you have no idea what those comments are doing to me and and my confidence so I think we guys are helping each other out here and thank you so much for doing that keep doing it I love reading your comments and the way you encourage me and and support this channel so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment click that like button there and don't forget to follow me on Instagram I have two accounts like you know one is blush with me underscore Parmita and the second one is Parmita Kartkar underscore photo factory. Don't forget to follow me on both my accounts and also on my Facebook page. Thank you so, so, so much for watching me. I love you all, really. Thank you so much.